In this video, I'm going to be discussing the increase to Medicare Part B premiums going forward into 2021 and how it's going to impact your Social Security benefits in 2021. I'm going to be discussing a lot of different numbers in this video, so I'll try to talk through it slowly and thoroughly, trying to explain it in an easy to understand way. So let's get right into this. Hey everybody, my name is Matt. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here as always. You know how it is. I like to look out for people receiving social security, retirement disability and survivors, Supplemental Security Income, VA, RRB, Low Income, No Income, the underserved, the underrepresented. I like to look out for all these groups because honestly, nobody else is. Nobody is the advocate. And it makes me so sad to see these people overlooked constantly. In fact, I'm actually in these categories. The reason is I'm blind. So I can't, I can't even see the camera. So anyway, let's get right into it. And I love looking out for these groups of people. So thank you so much for being here. And I do sincerely appreciate it. But let's talk about this increase to Medicare Part B premiums going forward into 2021. And what does it mean for those of you receiving Social Security benefits, whether it's retirement, disability, survivors, widows, it doesn't matter. This is for everybody receiving Social Security benefits. All right. So if you've been following this channel for any length of time now, you know that a couple weeks ago, I produced a video talking about the COLA, cost of living adjustment going into 2021. And I said, it's 1.3%, pathetic. Yes, let's all say it together, pathetic. 1.3% is what they're going to give Social Security beneficiaries as a cost of living adjustment for 2021. So remember that number because we're going to re reference back to it here in just a minute. So remember that 1.3% for 2021. All right, Medicare Part B, let's talk about it. Medicare Part B benefits in 2021 are currently sitting at $144.60 per month. That's 2020 right now. Medicare Part B benefits going into 2021 are going to have an increase up to one, uh, $153.30. That's an increase of 6% or $8.70. Now, I want to say one more thing before I continue, and that is these premium payments, these premium benefits that I'm talking about is assuming there is no penalty. Remember back when you were offered Medicare Part B benefits? If you didn't take the benefits right away, which you were not required to, but if you did not, if you opted out of those benefits for any length of time, you had a penalty when you decided to finally opt into those benefits. So maybe you took the benefits right away, that's fine. You do not have a penalty. However, if you're someone, let, let's say you opted out of the benefits for five years, well, guess what? You have a penalty on top of the premium. That's just how they do it. So all these numbers that I'm giving you is assuming there is no penalty, okay? So it's just the straight premiums, okay? So that's what I wanted to preface here really quickly. All right, so once again, 2020, $144.60 per month and 2021, $153.30 per month. That's an increase of 6% and an increase of otherwise known as $8.70. So $8.70 in 2021 with that increase. All right, so let's talk about this. So in this example, I'm going to give the example for those of you for disability. So in my last video, I actually just produced a video the other day talking about this same information, but my examples were for those of you receiving retirement benefits, social security retirement. So I wanted to make this dedicated video using disability benefits so that you can you can understand if you're someone receiving disability benefits, now you understand um, the averages here as well. Again, I'm just using the average disability payment for social security disability. So in 2020, this year, the average disability beneficiary on Social Security is receiving $1,261 per month. It's anticipated with that 1.3% cost of living adjustment going into 2021, your benefit will be $1,277. Again, this is just the average. It doesn't mean that that's what you're getting. This is just the average. Going into 2021, $1,277 which is an increase of $16. However, that's the top line. They did not tell you about the increase to Medicare Part B premiums. So we need to take that into account, right? 
because you need to know what the bottom line is. What are you going to take home? The top line, who cares what the top line is? If you're not taking all that home, it doesn't really matter, right? You wanna know how much are you going to get in your pocket at the end of the month after they take all of their fees, right? So here it is. So we wanna calculate in that $8.70 premium payment on your new benefit, $1,277 for 2021 minus the $8.70 premium payment brings you down to $1,268.30, which is an actual raise of only $7.30. Whoo, big money. I mean, what are you gonna do with $7.30? Honestly, I don't even know. I was gonna try to give an example. I honestly don't know what you're gonna do with $7.30 in a month. <laughs> That's like basically nothing. Considering the prices have gone up so much, I mean, is it like, two gallons of milk, maybe, maybe. Uh, anyway, so it brings you down to $1,268.70, 30 cents, sorry, $1,268.30. Anyway, sorry about that. All right, so let's calculate the actual percent raise that you would be getting considering we take into account this premium, um, this increase in premium. So, Previously, they were saying it's a 1.3% raise. Well, guess what? When we calculate in the increase to the benefit, uh, um, the premium, the premium benefit on Medicare Part B, it actually gives you an effective raise of, wait for it, 0.75. So that's a little over half of a percent. That's the effective actual raise that you would be receiving if you're someone receiving Social Security Disability, your average Social Security Disability benefit in 2021. So remember that 1.3% raise that they advertised? Yeah, exactly. That's the top line. They're not telling you the bottom line. The bottom line is actually 0.57. So a little over half of a percent raise in a year that we've seen increases in prices dramatically, far over 0.57%, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. So for those of you receiving Social Security disability benefits and who also receive um, Medicare Part D, as in prescription drug coverage, again, those premiums are actually going to go down a, a teeny tiny bit. In 2020, the premium for uh, Medicare Part D is $32.74. That's the average. Again, now in 2021, the average Medicare Part D benefit is going to be $30.50. So a tiny decrease, a decrease of $2.24. So I guess we could add that back into the massive $7.30 raise you would get, which would be what, $9.54? I just quick did the math in my head. So there you go. So anyway, I know this is incredibly frustrating, but I wanted to lay this all out. I wanted to give you all these examples because when I produced that video um, a couple weeks ago talking about the COLA for Social Security beneficiaries, that 1.3%, I had a lot of people leaving comments down below saying, yeah, what about Medicare? What about the premium for Medicare? Well, I decided to make this video and the one I produced just the other day for retirees and uh, kind of calculate all these numbers out. Again, these are all based off of the averages for retirement and disability benefits. I hope this helps you out. I'm always here for you. As I always say, I'm back every single day with your stimulus updates, giving you information on basically you can everything you can think of, Social Security, SSI, VA, RRB, low income, no income, food assistance, you name it, I'm here to help you out. So thanks again, everybody. Enjoy your day and I'll catch you again very soon.